Sour cherries are in. It's mid to end of June and it's time to get them ready. So here I am with my cherry pitter, my sour cherries, and I'm getting them ready. I put the pits in a bag and I'm gonna make a great filling. So let me show you over here, my kitchen. I've got the ingredients you need. Um, a little bit of granulated sugar, some cornstarch, some almond extract, and I don't have any tart cherry juice around, but I do have some from a can, so I might just use the juice from there. Yep, it's time for Cooking with Mr. LP, and uh, sour cherry pie filling is what's on store today. I'm so excited. I got the cherries yesterday at Madoff's, which is a local farm market. You can get them too, but they go quick. They are so delicious. Here we go. So, let me show you how to use this cherry pitter. All right, here's your cherry. I take a stem off, plop it in the sink or the bag, put the cherry in with the stem hole up so that the pitter goes right into there. Watch, oops, and the pit just shoots right out. Yes, it takes time, but these cherries are so worth it. Let me do a couple more. hold down and poof. Sometimes it doesn't come out, but it sticks right there. And then you take the pit right out. All right, see if you can get your sour cherries, get them pitted and get your pie filling started. It is so worth all the time. Now, of course you don't have to go out and buy a cherry pitter. One way to do it is now be careful. You can just take the cherry now let me show you one with a stem. Pull out the stem and squeeze it as you're doing so, and out pops the pit. Let's try that again. Pull the stem. Now you have to be careful, otherwise you get juiced. <laughs> Just squeeze the back of the cherry toward the pit hole, and there it comes out. Squeeze the back towards the, sorry, stem hole, and there comes the pit. It's almost easier than using a pitter, but it's a matter of preference. Enjoy and happy pitting. Okay, it's time to uh, macerate my cherries. Uh, you might wonder, what does maceration mean? For those novices out there, maceration is just to soften and separate. So first we add our cup of granulated sugar, then we're going to add our quarter cup of cornstarch and our tablespoon of lemon juice and our quarter cup of tart cherry juice. And once all those are in, we're going to mix, mix, mix. And then we just let it sit for about 15 minutes. That um, macerates the cherries, which again, means to soften and separate. I'm fun macerating. All right, I have mixed it all in so that it's dissolved. Looks good. Now we're just gonna let it sit for about 15 minutes. All right, the cherries have been macerating and um, they're all beautifully separated and softened. And now it's time to cook them. But before I do that, I want to make sure the pie crust is ready. So I already told you I'm using Marie Colander's. I need to prick the crust all over and get it baked for about 12 to 15 minutes just to it, so it's ready to accept the filling. All right, I'm gonna grab my fork, put my apron on. I'm gonna generously Prick the crust all over the bottom. It lets the air out and the sides. Now we're gonna put it into the oven. Prick, 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 prick. Oh, beautiful. It's all set. Now it's going into the oven. 
or oops, it's still preheating. It needs to preheat to 400, and then we'll get those cherries cooked. All right, time to put it in. Hey Alexa, set a timer for 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Thanks Alexa. All right, so the heat's on medium. I'm going to uh, pour in my macerated cherries. I think one of those cameras on the ceiling, right? Huh. And I'm gonna get them to bubble. Once they bubble throughout, nice and warm, I'm gonna take them off. Beautiful. Take a look. Come on, medium heat. Just wanna get them to kind of boil up there. Give it a few more minutes. As you can see, it's starting to bubble. Just gonna let it cook for a little bit until it's getting thick. And then we'll have our cherry pie, sour cherry pie filling ready to go. We'll let it cool after, after it's uh, done. And now the pie crust is ready. Let's see how it came out. Oh, beautiful. I'm just gonna let that cool for a little bit. And they say it would shrink. I guess because it got pricked a little bit. I'm just gonna put it right here. Let that cool. Now that the heat is off, we're gonna stir in our almond extract and our butter. It's only a half a teaspoon of almond extract. Just drizzle that on there. And two tablespoons of refrigerated butter, cubed up. So we get these little tiny cubes. Just gonna put those around. And then stir it in. Now it's still a little warm it's off the heat. The heat. Another thing is, it, the heat is off. All right, so my goodness, look at that. The butter's optional, but like Julia Child and Paula Dean, love butter. And here we are, we're just gonna mix it all in. Again, the butter gives it that rich richness. And the almond extract gives it just a little tad of flavor. Look how it's thickening up there. It looks amazing. So that is your sour cherry pie filling. Um, and the recipe says you can put it in jars and store it. Um, you can even freeze the sour cherries, however you like. But I'm gonna let this cool for a little bit and then fill our pie. So I transferred it to a bowl and I just wanted to taste it before, kind of, before it cools and I'm just like dying to taste it. So I'm going to take a sour cherry, a little bit of that filling, just to give you an idea. Still, still warm, but check it out. Mmm. Mmm. The sour cherries complement the sweetness of the sugar, a little bit of the tart of the lemon, and you can just, just about taste that almond extract, but not, not too much, not to give it like a, a, a different flavor, but mm. Delicious. Can't wait to put it in the pie. Okay. We're back and we're getting this pie done. Um, I'm gonna make an egg wash now. So just to brush over the pastry, just a, an egg, a little bit of water, just do a couple of tablespoons, and now uh, get that heat up so we can wash. Unfortunately, I cannot find my pastry brush. I don't know where it is, but we just fill the pastry and brush it over. So let me get you to see it. Ah, there we are. All right, so 
I've created a pie shield over here um, so that the pie doesn't burn. And uh, here we go. So I'm going to fill it. A cherry pie filling. Oh my goodness, boy, boy am I excited. So, um, we've got plans already to eat the pie. We've got some friends who invited us over for some dinner, and um, we're gonna enjoy the pie with them. So, let's get a really nice big spoon. So I can this pie filling right in. I've got the um, oven already preheated. Can you see that? Oh my gosh, that looks amazing. First, we've got a little bit of. Uh oh. I didn't prick the pie enough. Alright, let's fill it up. Mmm, look at that. Right, so I should keep going. I don't want it to fall out over the sides. Alright, look, we got some left over so we can make some, some kind of filling, filled pies or some hand pies. Mmm. Alright. Got the pie, now we need the other crust. So here I come with the other crust. This is going to be the top of the pie. Now I'm going to, hmm, I'm gonna cut it around so that it will fit. And I'm gonna have some leftover, but oh well, what are you gonna do? Just to crimp the edges to make sure it sticks. One of these days I'll have to make my own um, pie crust. I've seen some designs made in a pie, so let's try it. All right, what the heck? Gonna just create some air holes. for a sharp knife. Put that right there. All right, I'm gonna wash it. Make sure it's all crimped on the edges. Now remember, I don't have a, a washer, so I'm just gonna spoon it on, kind of wash it, let it, let it sit on. I may even use my hands, my fingers. That hands are clean. Just gonna wash it all over. Look at that, oh my goodness. I'm gonna put the pie shield on. So the oven is at 425, just 425 for about 25 minutes. And then, ah, lost my little thing there. And then we'll take it down to 400 for I think 30 to 40 minutes. All right, in she goes. I need a little extra hand pie since I had some extra dough. I'm gonna put it in. Alexa, set a timer for 25 minutes. 25 minutes, I'll let you know how it comes out. So, take a look at the hand pie. I just took it out of the oven. Looks amazing. It just took like 25 minutes. And I just turned the oven down. The pie looks great. Got a pie shield, that's where the hand pie was. And it looks really good. So we have another about 30, 35 minutes. And um, that'll be it. And the oven is going. And the timer says we have a few more minutes, but the color says it's time. It's time, it's time, it's time. Look at that. Can you just smell it? So we'll take the shield off. It looks beautiful. Look how it's bubbling. It's a little, it's a little messy. 
but uh, I'm gonna let it cool, and then we'll be ready for dinner. <laughs>